Good morning, party people. We've got a big day, but first of all, we need a big breakfast. Breakfast done. Now it's time to introduce this one to CrossFit. Alex is coming to the box. Oh yeah! <laughs> Are you excited? Uh, I am actually excited, but Pleasure. I think I'm gonna throw up. No, you're gonna smash it. You're gonna smash it. Okay. Alex <laughs> has just met Benji, the coach, for his first CrossFit session. It's gonna be it's awesome. <laughs> this is what we're looking at. It's not too bad. It's only an AMRAP and then some pairs work. Hey John! Hey mate! I haven't seen you for a couple of days, I missed you! I got cold, missed you too! Oh, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna carry on missing you mate! <laughs> coming near that! Welcome to CrossFit Al! <laughs> First workout is 12 minute AMRAP, as many reps or rounds as possible. It's eight or 10 toes to bar of any kind. 22 kilo or 22 and a half kilo dumbbells, eight thrusters, eight alternating lunges, then 10 burpees, that's one full round. Let's see how many rounds you can get in 12 minutes. It's the weighted stuff, that is, that's a serious weight for me, but we'll give it a bash. Exercise number two, we've got to accumulate between me and Alex, 2,000 meters on the rower. We're gonna split it up, you've also got to do 500 double unders. So we're gonna do 250 meter splits each, and however many double unders the other person gets in that time, subtract from the total, just keep going. I think, I think the rower's gonna take longer than double unders. Was it Al, your first session? Loved it, absolutely loved it. I'm actually kind of good, I've got to go home now. <laughs> Find another gym and one of these isn't nearby, which is a shame. Yeah. JC, Yo. bump it. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, my man. CrossFit done, we'll pick the girls up. They had a smashing session in two by the sound of it. It's almost time to say goodbye to the guys. I've just got to pack their stuff and get the hell out of my yeah. house. <laughs> but Vic is intent on taking Stephen with her. Yes. But he ain't going anywhere, are you, Steve? <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Steve. You are so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're home. Carly's dying from a coffin fit right now. I've got so much to do, but I need to... <laughs> I need to show you. I'm going to show you. Come with me. Come with me. Don't show them that. Oh, crap. Broke the light. <laughs> I've got something to show you. I'm very excited. Very excited. So... All you guys and girls have been asking for this, and here is the first set. I've got the girl stuff, which I've still got to have printed, which I'm going to the printers shortly to get done. I'm going to show you a couple of the previews. You're going to be the first people to see some of it. In grey and in black, TLM logo on the front, and big TLM logo on the back. This one, medium, we call this a Superman vest. So it's got the logo right in the front on the chest, Superman. The front, chest pocket, TLM logo. Also got those t-shirts coming with the Superman logo as well on the front, which is, oh, it's naughty, really enjoy it. So now I'm gonna go and get the female stuff printed 
And if you really, really, really excited for this stuff as much as what we are, to get your hands on it, I always say, Go for the grey because it shows how sweaty you get in the gym. If you're really excited, hit the like button on the comment that I'm going to put below with the video talking about the kit. Let us know where you're at with it. It's coming super soon. Make sure that you're following the Instagram page for the clothing. It's TLM underscore clothing. I'll put that in there as a link as well. It's going to have all the up-to-date shots. It's going to have some crisp images on carousels so you can look and see what you actually really like from all the different angles. And all of the oomph, all the oomph, important information about when it's gonna be available. I am so super excited for all of you. I cannot wait because that Instagram page is about the community. So everybody who's repping one of these, if you take a photo of yourself or get someone to take a photo of you, whether you're sweating or whether you're just chilling and you're just loving it, that's where you're gonna be posted, all over that page. Hopefully it will give all of you guys and girls out of there some traction as well and some inspiration and all the rest of it because we're just going to try and create our community and make it even bigger so very very excited so that's the female stuff in the two different styles now i need to get it over to the printers to be printed up to get this first lot done to then do the same again oh. i'll tell you one thing that i've really really learned through this process of doing this kit it's really nice to try and learn something new because this for us, I have no idea about clothes or design or print or postage and packaging or sending or legal requirements, IP, all this kind of stuff that we've had to work on over the last couple of months. It really has stimulated my brain. First of all, it's given me a lot more respect and understanding for people who do this kind of stuff all the time. But, second, but it's massively given me that drive and that hunger to do something that is stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. And that is a tip for today's video. I'm gonna put it in right now. Try things that are gonna test you a little bit more. Make calculated risks, but do stuff. Listen to people around you, listen to their in, in, input and everything like that. But do things that test you, that make you go, oh, I'm not sure whether I can actually make that happen. And this is one thing for us. I never thought we'd be able to make this happen at all. And at the moment, we're making it happen and I'm super proud. So thank you all so much for your support. What is this weather all about? It is rank. Another thing ticked off the list today. The only other things I've got to do now, I've got to film with you today. If you can help me with something, that'd be great. I gotta help Carly with something, which I'm yet to find out. We're gonna do some filming, get her stuff done. And then I'm gonna go down into the gym downstairs because I've got a few things to show you. If you really suffer with tendonitis, I'm gonna give you a few stretches and movements that you can do to help release your biceps off and feel a little bit more awesome. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a cup of coffee and I'm gonna chill for five minutes. Now I'm not gonna show you that because it'll be extremely boring for you. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, it's time to go stretch and you're coming with me into the gym. All you need is a lacrosse ball or a hard rubber ball. You can use a cricket ball if you want to go hardcore. First of all, I'm going to release off my biceps. So this is something I've been doing a lot recently because when you're doing cleans and snatches and anything like that, it's a pulling action. And my biceps get absolutely torched. So you've got the usual shoulder anterior delt stretch, which you can get a little bit of the biceps if you get the arm in the right position or at the right angle. But what I've started doing is starting quite high with the ball there, just so it gets a little bit of the bicep head and then rolling towards it. And then after it starts to release off, roll it another inch further, open the body, really getting into that bicep. And then I'll work all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to the elbow, just above this elbow joint where the head of the bicep or the bottom of the bicep starts to come up. I'll do that on both sides at the moment and instantly I'll normally go down on the inside and I'll go down slightly on the outside as well just to release both heads of the bicep off and instantly the release on my elbows is great it just doesn't does not hurt at all if I'm really really struggling I'll normally come down and just pinch and just see where my tricep comes down that insertion starts to go across the elbow and if that's really tight as well another one underneath onto the tricep head and then just hold it stretching out in front and you can get a little bit of the lats going as well because you're stretching in front of the body and leaning down and just waiting for that pressure to disappear slightly and move it around and if you find any pressure points just sit it down and hold it. It's an absolute beaut and that is what I've been doing for 
like the tendonitis. Is, for me, everyone gets different reasons why they get elbow tendonitis. For me, it's because my biceps get really tight or my triceps get really tight. So if you're struggling with that, it's definitely worth checking it out. I'm really enjoying it myself, to be honest, because I've always been a lad who doesn't stretch. So um, I'm actually enjoying doing something new and forcing myself to do it, and it's been great. Um, anyway. I'm gonna get out of your faces now. It's been an awesome day. Alex done his first CrossFit session and loved it, which is brilliant. I think we kind of embedded a little bit of a bug in there. We've got the female kit from the TLM going in to be printed, ready to come out. We're looking like it's gonna be coming out at the end of the month, so look out for that. Make sure you follow the TLM underscore clothing Instagram page for more updates. We've got some work done. I've got this vlog edited. Got some stretching in, got a top tip in there. I think we've done pretty well, team. So, hope you loved the vlog. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed, give it a little tickle, as we always say. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in a couple of days. After I go to Boardmasters, I'm off to Nuki to go to Boardmasters for the first time this weekend. I'm super excited. So, if you're going, come and say hello. If not, maybe next year. See you later, guys. <laughs>